Hey you guys, welcome back to Love for Plants. Today we are going to talk about the one plant that I am absolutely in love with, um, the Photos, also known as the Devil's Ivy. Um, before we get started, I want to talk to you guys about the difference between a Devil's Ivy and a Philodendrium. Photos is not a, a Philodendrium. A lot of people think that they are because they're viney, um, and some people just like to classify them all together. Um, the difference is a philodendron has heart-shaped shaped leaves. The leaves are like heart-shaped. Um, I actually have a heart leaf philodendron right here. So you can tell a difference in the leaves. They're heart-shaped. This is a philodendron. Um, obviously, it's outside, so it's a little dirty. Um, heart-shaped leaves, normally your stems are not as thick. Um, so that's a philodendron. It has a heart-shaped leaf. Photos do not have heart-shaped leaves. Let me pull this up for you guys. Not heart-shaped. Um, this is also known as Devil's Ivy. There's several different kinds. I have several, several varieties. Um, I love them, love them, love them. Talk about this one. Let me put this back. Okay, so this, um, this spring, I put this thing outside. Here's the pot right here. This comes to here. When I put this outside this spring, it was only this tall. And then like maybe a week or two ago, let me pull this up again. Sorry, you guys. My videotaping is not going to be all that great today. You can see where I tied it up. There's string here. I tied it up here like a week or two ago and you can already see the growth. This thing grows like crazy. Um, this one right here, gosh, he wasn't any bigger than the neon or lime. I'm sorry. He wasn't any larger than this. And when I set him out this spring, he's been repotted. I mean, he's huge. Here's some more. Just one of my favorites. I mean, look at these vines on this thing. These can all be cut. So if you want to make cuttings and make more plants or make a plant fuller, you can see right here the nodes. Cut in between these nodes. So I'd cut here and this node would get new roots. You could cut down here. These nodes would get new roots. Um, I love full plants and I love gifting these to people as, you know, a gift, I guess. Um, so some that I have already started. I start these things in soil, no need to put them in water and risk rotting your roots. Um, I don't know if it's just our country water, All, almost everything I root in water, it, it rots. So I put it straight in soil. You're going to put these things in soil, water like normal, keep them moist. Um, as you can tell, I've done it for several. I have a couple friends that are begging for these. Um, different ones that people don't have. I have not taken any from this one yet. For some reason, he's just not a fast grower. I don't know. Um, but oh my gosh, look at him. I am in love. I'm going to put him up on some pole, poles. And look at this. The cutest little variegation. Is that awesome? So definitely, I just want to touch base with you guys and talk about the best plant ever. Everybody wants huge plants. Um, we want them to take up space and look gorgeous. I don't want a plant like this. And that all the bigger it get. So this thing has been sitting out here since spring. Right now, you can see the sun here on the end. I moved the plant off the side of the house. If I do not move this back, this side will burn. I will get burnt leaves. Um, they love light. They do not love direct sunlight. Direct sunlight will burn. Let me show you what I mean. Because I burnt this when I first brought it out, I thought I had it back far enough and I did not. So, burnt leaves all on the bottom. Definitely burnt. What I'm going to do, because it's not that big of a deal to me, I'm just going to kind of cut them off and round them, make them look like a normal leaf. Um, don't freak out when you see 
really light yellow, sick looking leaves inside. This thing is so full. You need to understand that it's not getting light in there. So sometimes you're gonna get a, a leaf that you're just gonna have to pick off. So don't stress so much about that. Like this one got burnt, I burned him. So make sure they are not sitting in direct sunlight. Definitely love humidity. They love light. They can grow in little to no light. They just don't grow as fast. So if you're looking for a fast growing plant, the photos is for you. And like I said, there are several varieties. Typically the golden, that's right here, the big one. Um, you can find that pretty much at any store, at least in my local area. A Walmart, a, um, a Lowe's, a Home Depot, typically always have these plants. Um, so with that being said, just remember there is a difference between a devil's ivy and a heart leaf or a philodendron. Remember, philodendron has a heart leaf shape not as thick um, stems, very thin. Let me show you this stem here really quick. This thing is huge. Look at this pretty baby. It is like as thick as my finger. Isn't that crazy? It's huge. But I mean, sorry. These leaves are gorgeous. I don't get leaves like this in the house because I don't think it gets the same amount of sun even though where I sit it gets a lot of sun. But I mean, I set these out here and they just got yellow, like the prettiest yellow that you could ever imagine. Like, look at this. I, um, I just put all this up and he is growing already. So that could be another cutting. Anyway, um, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.